good trial lawyer, you have to be a good person. And one aspect of being a good person is you have to care about somebody and something else more than yourself. I know that there's a lot of folks who are teaching and they haven't done it. I taught at a professor's trial advocacy seminar. What that is is that all the students or all trial advocacy professors at the different law schools across the country and in attendance there were about 125 of them and um, Spence asked me to do it with him and at one point because basically a lot of the questions we're getting he said look I gotta ask a question raise your hand if you have ever tried a case in your career out of 125 hands possible hands how many you think went up these are the people teaching the law students five what? How are you going to teach it if you ain't ever done it? Then we asked, okay, out of the folks who have ever tried a case before, raise your hand if you've tried more than 10 cases. No hands. Okay, raise your hand if you've tried a case in the last 12 months. One hand. Raise your hand if you are five trials or less. Out of those five, all five of them went up. That's who's teaching law students on how to try cases. And that to me is not acceptable. So, no, I can't say that I like teaching more, but what I do like doing is sharing my failures with those who want to, for those who are committed to representing their clients in their best possible way. They say the knowledge is power. And I believe that the only real true gift that you can give anybody is information. Why? Because with information you can change, you can change your life. With information you now have the power to change other lives. Think about the one person in your life who made your academic experience completely different. What was it about that one professor or that one teacher that motivated you so much? Well, usually it's because they had a real passion for the ones they were teaching, and therefore it wasn't just the material anymore. It, can't, it took on a whole new life that inspired you, motivated you, without ruining you or intimidating you or indoctrinating you or pigeonholing you or stereotyping you. It allowed you to be creative and passionate on your own. It gave you guidance without limitations, no insecurities, just what could be, all unconscious to give you the gift of knowledge. If you ask me, what do you think is the most important part of the trial? It is definitely jury selection. Where do I spend the majority of my time preparing for the trial? As far as the pieces, it is definitely jury selection. Have I passed that on uh, as much as I can? I've tried and I've worked with a lot of people to try and help them with it because that's what all lawyers will tell you is the most difficult area of the trial and where they struggle the most and they feel the most incompetent. So that's where I hope to help them and to give back more, but that's the most important part to me.